Oh, hey, idiots. Welcome to the Idiot's Guide to Smart People. Get out your boners and vaginas because today's episode is all about sex and relationships. As an idiot, you've probably never dated a smart person. Unless you're attractive, wealthy, or powerful, in which case smarties will gladly convince themselves you're not as dumb as you really are. But even if you're none of those, here's how to deal with smart people, sex, and relationships. Since your idiot attention span is fading fast, let's just skip straight to the sex stuff. Modern technology has made it easier than ever for introverted smart people to find and bone each other. Unfortunately, this means they're less desperate to screw idiots like you, so you'll have to search for available smart people in foreign worlds. To get a smart person to like you, just nod occasionally while they talk for hours. That's what they call a great conversation. Look at you go, idiot! You got a smart person into bed. Now you get to have sex with someone who will overanalyze every single second of it. And if for some reason you want to keep seeing that smart person, you'll have to trick them into thinking you actually have a brain. First off, a smart person will never trust you unless you own a bookshelf with books. You can't just own the shelf. Next, you'll have to plan interesting dates. And interesting does not mean always going to Dave and Buster's. Instead, you'll have to endure the endless boredom of museums, performances that no one wants to be at, and exotic foods that smart people pretend to enjoy. Surprisingly, this relationship built entirely on lies is doomed to fail. But you're not alone. No smarty idiot relationship can ever last. Attractive idiots will age, rich idiots will get swindled, and powerful idiots will wind up dead, with their spouse getting their congressional seat. Smart people love House of Cards. In conclusion, True love is just a fleeting chemical reaction in your tiny idiot brain. So get consent, use a condom, and f away, my horny little idiots. Today's topic is sports. Following sports is one of the all-time greatest idiot pastimes. To enjoy the game, you only need to do two things, yell and drink beer, which just happen to be your only two talents.